Welcome back everybody to your weekly Wallace update. Today is Friday, September 17th. As always, this past week was once again, believe it or not, another fantastic week. A few things to get into before we jump into next week's schedule. Uh, thank you to everybody that uh, came out, supported the 8th grade uh, Washington DC trip pork chop fundraiser. Thank you once again for everybody. I know everybody's been checking out the infamous blue pigs around town. So those pigs will probably be disappearing pretty soon now that that's over. Uh, Friday of this coming week is school picture day and fall sports picture. So parents coming home Friday, you should have gotten order forms for school pictures. Again, they will be Friday. You will also get a reminder with directions and information so you can order online as well for your kiddos' pictures. So pictures will be in the morning, and we'll also have pictures, obviously, K through 8, and then also four-year-old preschool, developmental preschool, and preschool plus will have pictures on that day. Three-year-old tuition preschool will be at a later date that will be on one of the days that they will be here at school. So, again, if your kid didn't bring home their order form, ask them for it. It's probably stuck in their locker, stuck in their book bag, or maybe they forgot it in their desk. If you still can't get a hold of one, call us in the school office and we will get one home. Another thing I do want to mention, this is probably no surprise to any parent uh, or any adult right now, but there is challenges and issues relating to the food supply chain and schools are not exempt from those challenges. We have uh, really been struggling and a lot of local schools have really been struggling with our food distributors in terms of getting the food that we need to support our school lunch program. Um, we've been very lucky so far. Our kitchen staff has done a fantastic job uh, in terms of prepping our meals and planning and ordering food and doing everything they can to get the needed food here for our lunches each day. However, it is a continual struggle and it will continue to be a struggle moving forward um, and we don't necessarily see any end in sight. Again, this is all related to the COVID pandemic. I know we see it all the time at grocery stores we have over the past couple years in grocery stores, but we are not exempt from that in school. So with that being said, something to make you aware of. School lunch menus may be subject to change. For example, this coming week, the Monday and Friday lunches will be swapped. Cheese quesadillas will be on Monday and corn dogs will be on Friday. And also, every day we may have to make changes to our school lunch based on the supplies that we have on hand. We will do the best we can to keep those menus consistent. Um, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is that we are able to provide a meal for our kids every day. And also remember that all school lunches are free this year to all students. With that being said, we also are going to discontinue students being able to order double lunches. This is especially, especially applicable to our junior high students that maybe one lunch might not be quite enough food for them. We'll do our best to beef up the single lunch for our older kids. Uh, that take a little more uh, to get that energy. But parents, if your kiddo is one that typically orders a double lunch, we do ask that you send additional food with them if, if the school lunch doesn't quite fill them up. So starting next week, we will not have any more double lunches. <clears throat> All right, uh, another thing, we are excited. We're getting very close to having testing available for COVID-19 at school. We hopefully in the very near future will have uh, rapid testing available at school to anyone that is signed up to participate in the shield illinois program if you want more information about that visit our school website there's tons of program information and parent consent information available as well looking into next week do have a whole bunch of sports um going on check out online check out schedules in the calendar online to see a full list of athletic events coming up this week we got girls basketball that kicked off this past week uh, girls softball still going. They're in the sectional this weekend. Boys have advanced in the baseball regional. That's going fantastic. Good luck to all of our teams. Also, Tuesday, Special Olympics for the year are going to be gearing up. Our Special Olympics bowlers are going to be headed to the Tories in Ottawa for bowling on Tuesday. Um, also, next Friday, fifth grade girls basketball tournament kicks off at Oglesby Holy Family. And then... Uh, like I said, also Friday, school picture day and fall sports picture. So for a full list of events, check our website out, wallsgs.org. 
And you can also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Ottawa Wallace. Whew. And as always, if you need anything or have questions, give us a call in the school office. Thanks, everybody, and have a great week.